ஃபெடோரா சில்வர் ப்ளூ வெர்சஸ் ஃபெடோரா ஒர்க் ஸ்டேஷன் விச் ஒன் இஸ் ரைட் ஃபார் யூ வெல்கம் டு தி சேனல் டயர்ட் ஆஃப் சூஸிங் பிட்வீன் ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி அண்ட் கட்டிங் எட்ஜ் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் இன் யுவர் லினிக்ஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரோ ஃபெடோரா சில்வர் ப்ளூ அண்ட் ஃபெடோரா ஒர்க் ஸ்டேஷன் ஆஃபர் போத் பட் இன் வெரி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் டைவிங் டீப் இன் டு திஸ் டூ பாப்புலர் ஃபெடோரா வேரியன்ட்ஸ் டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் தேர் கீ டிஃப்ரென்சஸ் and help you decide which one aligns best with your needs whether you are a beginner or a linux pro stick around this video got you covered fedora is a trusted linux distribution loved for its reliability security and up to date software it's a favorite among developers enthusiasts and anyone who want a solid open source experience fedora silver blue and fedora workstation are two stand out editions each with a unique approach silver blue offers an innovative secure and streamlined system while workstation delivers the classic linux desktop with unmatched flexibility let's break it down and see what sets them apart silver blue the immutable os fedora silver blue is all about stability and security thanks to its immutable design what does that mean imagine the core of your operating system like the engine of a car being locked in a protective case you can't accidentally mess it up and neither can a rogue software the system files are read only so changes are kept separate from the essentials this setup has some big perks first it's more secure Malware has harder time tampering with a lockdown system. Second, it's stable. Since the code doesn't change, you are less likely to run into software conflicts or crashes. And third, updates are a breeze. Silver Blue uses something called atomic updates. Instead of patching bits and pieces, it delivers a whole new system image. If the update doesn't work out, no problem you can roll back to the previous version in seconds but how do you install apps on a system that's locked down silver blue uses flat packs think of them as self contained app packages that run independently from the core system you can grab apps like firefox or libreoffice from flat hub a universal app store for linux it's simple good to go plus tools like toolbox lets you create mini environments for traditional software or development work keep everything steady and secure now fedora workstation the customizable choice now let's switch gears to fedora workstation the traditional champ of the fedora lineup this is the linux desktop you probably picture flexible familiar and fully customizable unlike silver blue workstation's system is mutable meaning you can tweak and modify it to your heart's content one of its biggest strengths choice it ships with the sleek gnome desktop by default but you are not stuck with it want kde plasma's flashy fx or xfce's lightweight vibe just install them Workstation uses DNF Fedora's package manager to tap install a massive software repository need gimp for photo editing run just sudo dnf install gimp and it's yours this hands on approach is perfect for users who love tailoring their system or need specific tools workstation also shines for traditional linux administration If you're comfy editing config files or building software from source this is your playground it's less about restrictions and more about giving you the keys to the kingdom now comparing key features so how does this two stack up let's compare some key areas immutability versus mutability silver blue lockdown and immutable for security and stability workstation open and mutable for maximum flexibility 
now software ecosystem silver blue relies on flat pack and containerized apps universal secure and isolated workstation uses dnf for direct access to fedora's vast repositories more options less containment now updates silver blue automatic updates with easy rollbacks one command and you are back if things go south workstation traditional updates package by package more control but trickier to undo now user experience silver blue streamlined and gnome focused simple modern and beginner friendly workstation endless possibilities pick your desktop pick your setup make it yours now performance both are snappy but silver blue's lean design might edge out on older hardware avoiding the overhead of heavy customization workstation holds its own especially if you optimize it now choosing the right fedora for you all right it's decision time which one for you pick fedora silver blue if you want top notch security and stability and you like simple low maintenance system and you are okay with flat packs and a gnome centric experience it's great for beginners or anyone who values peace of mind or tinkering go for fedora's workstation if you crave customization and control and you need specific software not available as flat packs and you are a developer or power user who loves digging into the system it's ideal for those who seek linux as a canvas still unsure try them out spin up a virtual machine or test them on a spare drive fedora's community forums and official docs linked below are gold mines for extra information now finally the conclusion there you have it fedora silver blue and workstation two flavors of fedora excellence silver blue redefines linux with its secure immutable core while workstation keeps the classic customizable spirit alive which one's calling your name drop a comment and let us know thanks for watching if you found this helpful give us a like subscribe for more linux goodness and check out the links below for deeper dives into fedora see you in the next video peace out